Okay, this song we just finished, and we, we may not even remember how it goes exactly, but we'll try it out on somebody else you feel like you're reading a little bit about yourself you, you, you kind of identify suddenly with with what's with what those people went through and um, I think one of the the hardest things in, in the Christian life is is uh, and especially for people who, who have grown up in America is I think we're uh, very arrogant people and I think it's very hard to uh, just to allow God to break us. I think it's very hard to uh, to uh, be broken. And I think that who the Lord loves, He chastens. And 
that if we won't be broken, we'll never be saved. And uh, that God doesn't break us because he hates us or because he's angry at us. But uh, we have to be broken just like you have to break a horse. And uh, so God's mercy in the song, I know a lot of people have said, well, why, why, why do you... Why do you say the, the reckless, raging fury that they call the love of God? And, and all I can ever answer is if you've ever known the love of God, you know it's nothing but reckless and it's nothing but raging. And it's, uh, sometimes it hurts to be loved. And uh, if it doesn't hurt, it's probably not love. And uh, maybe infatuation. I think a lot of American people are infatuated with God. But... Uh, they don't really love him and they don't really let him love them and being loved by God is uh, while it's uh, one of the most painful things in the world it's also uh, the only thing that can bring us salvation and uh, it's like everything else that is really wonderful there's a little bit of pain in it there's a little bit of an ache a little bit of uh, hurt so that's kind of what this is about. We'll, we'll do this and then we'll just kind of hang out for a while because it's too hot to play anymore. We keep, we keep getting slower and slower just because we're starting to warp. 